Hey, welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. What I want to cover is 12 gauge mini shells. Now, a lot of you have already heard this, but a lot of you are like me, and until recently, you had absolutely no idea that they even existed. I was doing a review for the Keltec KSG. I've uh, been really interested in this for a long time, and one of the things that really piqued my interest was its ability to cycle reliably the mini shells. And take a look here at the mini shell. You know, it's 1.75 inches, so it's a lot smaller than the standard shell. And what that does is that presents a lot of opportunities like this. I just loaded, I'm going to test some slugs here. I got 11 in each tube. So the standard KSG um, holds 22 rounds. Okay, 22 rounds. Now, Mossberg 500 series, they will work. You have to get a little aftermarket, uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called, Opsol. Okay, it's, it's a little buffer that fits in there, and, and I may have pronounced that wrong. I think it's about $15. You can get it at Brownells and stuff. I'll, I'll, if I find it, I'll stick the link in. And you can put that in any of the Mossberg 500 series, and it will reliably cycle. Now, I don't have one of those. I've got the KSG. I also was reading that the Winchester seemed to cycle real well. And, of course, then anything that's a brake action. Why would I want that? If I wasn't going for high capacity with like brake action, my son just started crap, you're gonna have a lot less recoil. So somebody, you know, home defense, you know, the big thing these days, uh, everybody's doing a run on ammo, everybody's concerned about home defense and stuff. The shock wave, you know, Mossberg's 500 or Mossberg shock wave, you can increase your capacity for home defense with less recoil and let's face it you know take a look at, at hammer time here there's no lack of stopping power with the mini shell so when you look at the difference between just a standard two and three quarters versus this one and three quarters there's a pretty big difference now not every shotgun's going to take this what does that mean well it has less buckshot feet per second though is pretty much the same. So we're getting the same punch out of this as we are out of this. We just have less of it. What does that mean? That means I can hold a whole lot more of these and there's gonna be less recoil. Let's see the difference between weight and size when we're looking at carrying. So here's 20 rounds of just standard buckshot 2.8 then we go to the mini rounds 1.4 so half of the weight that's pretty big now i got the little mini shotgun shells i got I don't know, what, 10 or 12 in one tube here let's see what kind of luck we have with that pull Not very many babies with that. You have to get on it. Pull. Ooh, these guys are harder. Pull. <laughs> Not having luck with the mini shells. Pull. There we got it. Pull. All right, now we got it. Got to just put it right on it. Pull. 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 Love it. I've got my mini buckshot. Got some cardboard there. I want to see what I'm going to get for a spread pattern. I've got the full choke in here and I'm at 20 feet. Now this is getting far. For self-defense, home defense, I'm at 30 feet, full choke, buckshot. That's still a decent spread pattern, easily all center mass at 30 feet. This is really pushing it, guys. I'm at 40 feet. We're going to try it with a mini buckshot. 
spread out quite a bit more. Still had a fair amount center mass. It's really pushing it for distance. There we go. First shot, 20 feet. Forgot about the zero. 20 feet, aiming just a little bit high. Nice group. Then we went back to 30 feet. Still good. And then we went back to 50 feet and it started spreading out. Sorry, 40 feet. 40 feet. Hi guys, I'm Adri. I am out of school, so I'm going to help my dad with hammer time. And this is what we're going to shoot it with. That's right, it's time for the ham test. My favorite test for shooting reviews. Sooner or later, I am gonna run out of ham. I'm gonna use the Buckshot Mini, and we're gonna blast the heck out of this ham. Okay, now we gotta do ham shoot number two. This time, I'm gonna use the mini slug. Got one here in my pocket. Mini slug. That is the entry side with that little mini slug. That is the exit. You know, the thing is, those have no recoil and you can get, oh, I can't remember, was it 20 or 24 of those in there? That's crazy. Hey, if you like this video, if you like following my channel, help support Beyond Seclusion. It's as simple as if you shop on Amazon, use our link. Go in, anytime you go into Amazon, you use our link. That forwards it on. As far as the credit, a commission to Beyond Seclusion, it costs you absolutely nothing other than, you know, 30 seconds or less to click on it. Same goes going to our webpage and using our links to PSA, Brownells, Natchez, Cabela's, you know, you name it, Gun Mag Warehouse, any of those, same thing. Changes absolutely nothing for you, but supports beyond seclusion and keeps things coming, reviews, and helps fund for ammo. Been doing an awesome job. Thank you so much. Couldn't do it without your help. Okay, so we exploded some ham. We shot some skeet. I'm back here at my new CMP steel target range. Let's have some fun with some slugs. That'd be the first jam that we had. Okay, so I got this jam sorted out. I do not think it was on the KSG. I think it was on the uh, Aguila ammo. 
We'll try loading this back up and try this again. Switch it over. Why is it dead? Okay, so I had had some issues with the Aguila slugs. They were like catching or something on the edge. I got in some Federal, believe it or not, with, with all that's going on, I was able to secure a few boxes to test. Let's give my new CMP uh, IDPA with a cutaway there. Let's give that a test with these shells and we'll see how they cycle. And uh, give the rest of my CMP targets a little run for their money. With the mini shells, one of the keys is cycling fast and hard, uh, not, not being gentle with it. Man, that makes those things rock, okay? If you have any doubt about this mini shell and that slug, we're gonna blow up a ham here. My daughter's really excited. She's out of school. She wants to help daddy blow up a ham. Okay. Well, that was 22 rounds. I did not have one issue. I could not do that with the Aguila. The Federal, boom. Okay, <laughs> that was awesome. I wish I just had crates of this so I could just keep going. That is so much fun. Guys, I love the KSG. I absolutely love it. If you haven't checked out, check out the video. This thing is a blast. Anyway, I was unable to get some of the Federal for the buckshot. The slugs worked flawlessly. If I had my choice, I'm absolutely going with the Federal, the buckshot, and the slugs. Even though I haven't tried the buckshot, the slugs worked so much better than the Aguila. I have no doubt that the Federal is going to be the way to go. And if I recall, I actually priced out the federal cheaper than the Aguila. So anyway guys, I hope you found this helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. With COVID-19, you guys be safe. Don't panic. If you don't need the ammo, don't buy it. This is the worst time to buy stuff. Anyway, till next time, happy shooting, and please be safe.